Hello community welcome to a new story titled, In 2018, my girlfriend cheated on me, so I ended up marrying her. Well let's get started, and don't forget to stay tuned for new stories and updates. In 2018, my, 24M, girlfriend, 24F, of 3 years admitted that she had cheated on me. It was a long distance relationship, which was already incredibly difficult, and we would make a drive every weekend to see each other regularly, usually never went more than 2 weeks without seeing each other. She had made a male friend at her university, and since I had female friends of my own, I didn't mind this. Well, after one weekend together, she had left my house to go back home, about a five-hour drive. We always send a text when we make it back safely. She sent me the text, and I thought nothing of it and went to work that afternoon. Later that night, she calls me crying and tells me that she didn't actually go home and that she had went to her friend's house to hang out. She told me that nothing had happened between them. Of course, I was upset because she had lied to me, saying she made it home when she didn't. Within the next few weeks, I cooled down and made up with her. I didn't want to risk losing her, for I loved her deeply, I had already spent three years with her and had intended on proposing to her. We worked on building back trust, and at the end of 2018, I asked her to marry me. That's right, I was so worried about losing her that I proposed. Bad memories never go away and it was eventually brought up again in 2019, about a year into our engagement. This time, she admitted to withholding information about the event, telling me that they had made out and that he had come to see her within the next few days, the period in which we weren't talking to each other while I was cooling off. Of course, I was even more upset at this point. I feel that anyone would have ended it there. Having already proposed to her, I decided to once again forgive her, dismissing the guy's behavior as him, just being a bad guy that she shouldn't have trusted, in her confession, she had played the victim, saying he came onto her and all that. By 2020, we had worked hard to keep the relationship strong and finally got married during the summer. Only days before the wedding, she broke down and said, I can't believe that you are still going to marry me after everything I did. I told her that it was in the past and I had forgiven her. We got married and that brings us to today in 2022, two years of marriage. I feel that our marriage is relatively happy, though we still don't see much of each other because we both work all the time. We have out ups and downs, all relationships have rough patches, right? But within the past year, I can't stop thinking about her cheating. Even though it was nearly 5 years ago, it still hurts very much. I said that I forgive her, but I am unsure if that is true. I really do love my wife, she's truly my best friend, but I can't be free from the pain of the past. I don't know what to do. I'm confident that she hasn't cheated since, but something about marrying my cheater just isn't sitting right with me. We married young and hastily, and I often wonder if it was a mistake. I always ponder that what if question. What if I had broken up with her when it happened? Surely my life would be different, but I wouldn't be constantly reminded of the pain that she brought me. Sorry for the large amount of text. Any advice or outlook would be appreciated. You rug sweep what happened and ignored your gut. She lied to you twice and was trickle throwing. Of course there was more to it and this is what your gut is trying to tell you. If I was you, I had never married her. Try to get her to confess the truth and then work from there. Be prepared to find out that they have had relationships. And ask yourself whether this was a one-time event when she can lie so easily to you and face no consequences. Are you serious? There's no victim in cheating he came onto her. She could have said no. Then she went to a friend's house, in university. She cheated back then. You didn't build trust, obviously she cheated on you again when she said he came onto her. With how you let her push you over I wouldn't be surprised if she's cheating again, I actually expect it. Yes it was a big mistake to marry her. Unless you are suspicious of her cheating again you should probably get some MC and see if you can put it behind you. Objectively. You went into the marriage with your eyes open knowing what happened. All that overthinking, obsessing over what happened in the past is only going to get worse, as you get older. Buckle up. You will never forget it, never be able to move past it. IDC what anyone says, that trust was broken and it is unreplaceable. Cut your losses now before you get in any deeper. Dead body serious too, good luck. She had an affair with her ex-husband. First post. We have been together for five years. We combined our families under one roof in early 2021. We each have two kids 7, 14, 17, and 19. Wife and I seemed very happy. This was the happiest I had ever been in a relationship. We were a family. We adored each other. D-Day was this last June. I was planning to propose to her and something just didn't feel right. I looked through her email. I found inappropriate messages between her and the ex-husband. 
I confronted her and she said it stopped at messages and was very sorry. I called him and he said the same. The next day I found out she was abusing pain meds for the last year. I was very supportive and knew how to support her since I'm 20 plus years sober slash recovery. The day after that, I asked for a phone and did a deep dive. I found current texts. I confronted her and she admitted to sleeping with him twice last year. I was brought to my knees. Devastated. I asked her to move out. She has accepted 100% of her part. Says she was messed up, her ex-husband is in recovery, 3 years, and she went to him for help. Said she was too ashamed to come to me. One thing led to another with her ex. He always wanted her back. He abused her for 15 plus years and she never dealt with it honestly in therapy. No excuse here. Just want to paint a picture. Now, she is going to 12-step meetings, I see, special counseling with her medical provider, and we are starting MC on Thursday. I am also doing IC. The hardest part for me is the fact that this man will always be in her life. They have a young child together. He only sees the child twice a month, the adult child wants nothing to do with her dad. Her two children consider me their real father because I do the work, love them and make them feel safe. This also happened when we didn't seem to have any relationship issues. She has done everything right so far but this still rocks me to my core. I never thought I would move forward with her under these circumstances with anyone but here I am. Any suggestions or encouragement on how to deal with this would be appreciated here. This is a very convoluted scenario because normally the advice is to cut AP of their lives but in your case, he will be in her life forever. If I were you I would junk any plans of marriage or engagement at this point. She will have to do a lot of work and show her actions to be consistent for a very long time for you to even feel safe. Because they both had a plan on how to dupe you, so their relationship will always be a trigger for you now. I would not propose and did she actually move out. I personally think for a while living apart is a good thing for everyone involved. She needs to be well on her way in recovery before our starts. I'm not talking weeks or a few months in recovery and clean but 10 to 18 months place in time. Most addicts and she is an addict don't stay straight on their first attempt of getting clean and sober as I'm sure you are aware. Support her and help her on this path then when she is well on her way talk about reconciliation. She should only talk to AP about children on a parenting app any other form of communication unless it's an emergency should be a hard boundary if crossed there is no chance of reconciliation. OP, she did move out immediately. No proposal is even on the radar for me. You are right about recovery first. Thanks. Op I would suggest to delay the MC at least for a dot month while both of you continue to work in IC separately and she keeps going to her 12-step program to deal with her addiction. Take this time as a soft break to focus on each one healing. Both need to work on your individual issues before in order to be able to do things differently next time. Be clear with her that this month you are still on the relationship but the focus is on stabilize each one to go to the MC in a better shape. Be clear that you require access to her communication devices, emails, and communication apps and any communication with her ex-non, child-related is forbidden. Delete messages will be interpreted automatically as cheating and she has to be 100% transparent, no more lies, not even white lies, only the truth even if it is uncomfortable. She need to do a lot of work individually in order to make this work, you can give her support only if she compromise with it, be clear that this will be her last chance and mean it. She needs to feel the consequences of her actions to work on herself, even if you are the perfect husband, she need to do the heavy work dot and get her life straight. Do the older children know? They can be a source of support for her. If they love you also this can be a grounding part of the relationship. OP, they do. Her older daughter considers me her dad no matter the outcome and vice versa. My kids are staying far away from it as they have their own healing to do. What did you think about this story? Also, do not forget to stay tuned for new stories and updates. Greetings.